Hello everybody and welcome back to some Nuclear Throne. We are back once again. I think we've got Crystal this time around. Um, and yeah, I just want to say, the series is back. It's not gone. Um, I know that we took a break. Well, I think we took a break. I don't think I uploaded last weekend. Um, but as I've kind of said, uh, by the way, I still don't know what these glowing blocks are. Does anyone know what these are? Is that just like a texture glitch? Um, but yeah, I've kind of sort of taken a little bit more of a relaxed approach with all of my series that aren't, um, Isaac. In that way that I mean, sort of, Isaac's always going to be every day. I will ensure that. I will always make sure of that. But I, I like, I used to, like, quite heavily self-impose these deadlines. I won't say deadlines, but, like, this upload schedule on myself. Um, I used to, like make sure I got all my videos out on time on the right schedule, which is, is a good thing in a way. It is nice to have consistency for the viewer, and I do like it when people know there's going to be an episode on a certain day, especially for a series that they like. I'm sure there's some of you out there that only watch this series and don't watch anything else that I do. Uh, so I want to make sure that you people out there especially are still getting the content you like. Uh, ooh, definitely go with a rhino skin. We'll definitely go with this. Um... Energy, melee, refund on kill, lasers burn, plasma's bounce, that's the only one. Um, yeah, and I want to make sure people are still getting the content they want sort of thing. Uh, but at the same time, uh, I feel like they were put, sort of imposing that limit on myself, or at least imposing this sort of stricter upload schedule for my side series, or my like non-main series, which essentially my main series is just... Uh, just Isaac now, but I, I feel like it was it was limiting for one my creativity and for two my enjoyment of some of the games Like I, I kind of felt like I was forcing myself to play some of the games Like I one day might not have been up for the recording or I might not have quite had the time to do the recording So I kind of forced it in and ended up dying early on purpose to make sure the episode was short I've done that a few times. I'll admit um so I'm I'm just trying to be a little more relaxed with it, and ju just trying to sort of put myself in a position, um, just trying to put myself in a position where uh, I I just upload I, I try and upload it on a reasonable schedule. Like I'm not going to leave it three weeks without it coming out, but at the same time I'm I'm not going to like sort of fret or worry myself. If I don't get one of the videos out that weekend or that particular day. As long as it comes out eventually sort of thing. So that's why you might be seeing a little less nuclear thrown around. Just because I've played a lot of episodes of this series now. So the game is getting... It's definitely not stale, but I, I've, I've definitely played a lot of it. So it's getting staler. Um, even with some of the modded content. So I feel like it's completely fine to sometimes not want to play it. And sometimes think, do you know what? I think I'd enjoy this more if I left it until next weekend. Or I don't quite have the time this weekend. And I really just hope that people, um... Ooh, the blazer. I really just hope that people kind of understand that. I'm sure many of you do. I'm sure many of you are completely fine with it. I just want to kind of give a, a little bit more of a deeper explanation for, um... For one, why you may not see Nuclear Throne as regularly as you're used to. But also, just in general, for side series, why, why, why you might not be seeing them as regularly as you think. It's like I've kind of recently started, kind of this whole idea of doing this started when I started up the new Dead Cells series. I kind of changed up how I did it a little bit. And you'll have noticed that Dead Cells doesn't really come out on any sort of particular schedule. It, it kind of comes out pretty randomly, to be honest. Um, and that's because I kind of decided to do this new thing where I just play it as I feel like it. Especially Dead Cells as a game. And Dead Cells is one of those games where runs are, runs are quite long. And I don't want to sort of impose on myself by making myself do it. Also, I despise, despise this. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pressure for it through. Hope for the best. Okay, that actually worked out pretty well. I'm really liking our build setup so far. I'm hoping I can get a um, laser brain. Because it would make me very happy if I could. Getting an extra bit of damage on this bad boy would be so good. Like, the bounces are already very good. Like, having bouncy on this thing as a starter is incredible. I will say that. I want you. 
I just love that I can like, it's got that little bit of AOE around it, so I don't even have to hit the enemy directly. And then the bounce off the wall creates that AOE blast an additional time. So even like in a sort of crowded area, like like something like this, I can kind of fire around and get some good stuff going out of it. Oh, that enemy just got crushed. The rapier. Rapier could be a good one to take, I'll be honest. It's got good range to it. The golden cracker. That's really cool. I do. I want. I want to make sure it doesn't replace my plasma cannon though. But yeah, I'll take a rapier. I think that could be pretty good. It seems reasonably strong. Having a melee weapon as a backup is always a good idea as well. Um, we got the prismic iris. Uh, push enemies away and reflect projectiles when hurt. That sounds pretty good, actually. Let's give that a go. I don't think I've tried that previously. But that was, that was beautiful, that. Okay, I'm a little bit worried about the amount of explosives around me right now when, uh... Big dog to me. Dude, this thing, this thing destroys projectiles in a pretty huge radius, I gotta say. I don't like how close you're getting to me now, sir. I'm gonna try and uh, keep you as far away from me as I can. It's actually pushing him quite, quite far. <laughs> I didn't expect it to push him quite as far away as that, but I'm happy for it, I will say. Okay. We got ourselves the big dog head as well. We got the scrapper here. Ooh. Whoa. Scrapper's like a little f little fist. The big dog head is real good. I'm gonna stick with the rapier though. I like it. I like it. It's something different, something new. I don't I don't play melee very often, and I should. I think it's enjoyable to watch. And it's enjoyable to play as well. I don't give it enough credit. I think Nuclear Throne, I've said this so many times before, but I think Nuclear Throne is just... I, the, the reason I still play it, the reason I... Because if you don't know, I actually only intended for this series to be, I think, like 20-something episodes. I was I was going to do two full rounds of the characters, because obviously I had thumbnails drawn for them. So I was going to do two full goes around. And I just ended up liking it so much that I ended up sticking in the roster, and I ended up, like, continuing to play it. And I'm so glad that I did, because like, I, I was just about to say, it's a game that I just think is such... It's it's like the perfect embodiment of a casual roguelike. Like I've, I've been playing Risk of Rain 2. Risk of Rain 2 is very much like that as well. It's one of those roguelikes that you can hop in and just play. And it's just so chilled out. Like, there's no sort of expectations of how hard you have to try or anything like that. Um, or like, you're not really worried if you win or lose. It's just it's just a bit of fun. Ooh, the Breach Mortar. <laughs> That's really cool. That's really cool. I'm just holding out hope for uh, Plasma Brain, whatever it's called. Bouncy Bullets? I'll take a Bouncy Bullets. Um, laser Brains are on it, Plasma Brain. The Flechette Shotgun's always good. Let's uh, stab her up here. So, is it... Let's see. I'm going to say, it, it kills one of those in one hit. It kills a dog in one hit. One, two, and three, I reckon. Yeah, three hits for one of those. This is some real power we've got in our hands here. We are wielding some true strength. Obviously not quite as strong as this. It's going to kill him too. But, I really like this uh, projectile throwing thing we got going on here. I realise, by the way, I'm not using my shielding, like, at all. <laughs> I, I just generally, even when they're very useful, I find it's hard for me to use skills in this game. And it's pro probably one of the reasons that I fail so often. Um, I just don't really use the character skills that much. But I just feel like they're so they're so low value and low impact when you compare to having good weapons and playing well. Like when you when you compare the value of that compared to the value of um, yeah, let's be careful here. When you compare it to the value of just um, like using your skill, just I I always I always think that. Just trying to play better and, fo and and spending more of my focus on trying to play better rather than spending it on trying to optimally use my ability. It's a little better for me. We got the Jolt Revolver here. I thought it was a Jerk Revolver then for some reason. Dude, I hate them little things. Right, there was a Wolf. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Wait, does that not... That doesn't adopt bouncy bullets for some reason. If it did, I'd definitely take it. 
go slugger there as well. And we do, of course, have a little hunter coming up here. So I think the rapier is actually going to be very good against him. But this time, let's just be very prepared for him, shall we? There he is. Just, I think using a melee weapon here against him will help us a lot. Oh, okay. That's uh, not what I was expecting, but okay. Oh yeah, the, the, the melee being able to block all these shots, is, even the smoke is so nice here. Get out of here, boy. Yeah, I was just about to say, I shouldn't get close to that guy. He's going to throw the car at me, isn't he? I love the fact that you can strike through the wall in this game. That's like a, a minor bug that it was like, well, I wouldn't even say it's minor, it's it's, mo it's pretty big of a bug. That I, I'm guessing the devs never fixed on purpose and I kind of love that they didn't. The sine wave. I almost died there, holy shit. some health for me, please. I would very much like some health. I'm going to try and keep up my melee weapon here to, uh, actually, maybe not a good idea. No, I don't know. I don't know. We're good. We're good. We healed. Didn't heal to full, but we healed. Or I'm just going to blow up. Okay. Okay. Let's try that again. <laughs> Take a sip of water real quick. Okay, so this time let's hope for a better plasma build. Laser braid isn't all that uncommon, so it's one of those ones that I never really take advantage of, but it's actually really, really good. Laser braid affects quite a lot of weapons and affects modded weapons in a really nice way. There's a lot and a lot of energy modded weapons. Sadly, no level up on the first area though. But yeah, Chris, Crystal's probably one of the characters that their ability is a little more influential than most. Um, I feel like his his ability is one of the ones... I think his and like maybe like Robots. Robots is another really good ability. Um, what, what, what's this here? What, what, am, I, what am I holding? Because this is not a regular grenade launcher, right? What we got this time? Reveal yourself to me. Oh, health box. Hell yes. It seems like a sort of cluster bomb launcher. Let's check. It's just called the bomb launcher. Okay. Well, it seems good. I'm liking it. It seems to be a bit sort of a faster paced grenade launcher. Um, do you know what? More speed. Why not? It's something I very rarely take. Yeah, it's got like really crazy shot speed, this thing. Oh, I'm seeing it now. Okay. So, it, it's, it kind of works a bit like the grenade launcher, actually. If you put your cursor further away, it's going to travel at higher velocities to reach where your cursor is. But it seems to have a, more of an oomph. This is a very hard little, uh, little area I've got myself stuck in here, isn't it? This thing's a bit saucy. That's that is that much is clear. Do you know what? A little bit too saucy for me apparently, because I've instantly killed myself. <laughs> Fire poker. I've still not really given this a good enough chance. I think it's it's kind of it reminds me of a um, of a screwdriver, sort of damage wise, and like um, like the shape of the the attack, but it's got a bit more range to it. It's pretty nice. I like having it. Wrenches may be a little better, but the fire rate is also good. The fire rate is also quite swell. It's really good for the first stage, definitely. I'm going to speed through it. Fill the team. Let, let's, let's go with a bit of safety here. I feel like there's something in, like, the last sort of, like, 20 or 30 episodes that I've really sort of gotten pretty, like, lax with. I very much don't really value defense as much as I should. 
I think it's because I, I do play more for fun in, than I do for the victory or for looping. I just play to try and get cool and fun builds with modded stuff. Uh, so I don't really play like with too many defensive items, but I do think I should try a little more. Put a little more effort into trying to play a bit more defensively. Just try and get some cool... Have a higher chance to get some cool stuff going on. We've got the chest gun here. I can never quite remember how this thing works. Is it that if you hit an enemy, it spawns a chest? Or is it if you kill an enemy? Oh, no, okay. So if you kill an enemy, it gives you ammo. Oh, what? No, if you hit an enemy, it drops ammo. Alrighty, then. So how the hell do you refill the ammo for this gun? I'm guessing it uses its own ammo type, then, maybe? It's an interesting, interesting idea. It's not something we actually need, but... D double vision. I know I just said about uh, taking something like that's going to help us out in a more thingy way, defensive way, but stuff like this is just too good to resist. Hello, big man. Oh my god, this thing, this thing is great. If we can get like bouncy on this, then we're we're in. He's uh, assault rifle ammo as well. Oh damn! What the hell? Why did we get two that time? Oh, heck. I like this uh, this new addition. Those things are cool as hell. I can get behind those. Prismic. I'm going to go with the extra speed again. Maybe that's something I need to take a little more often. Speed is a... Uh, a little more important than I ever value it to be in this game. It's like I should use Fish's role a little more. There's definitely a lot of things in this game that I do incorrectly. And probably a lot of things that people watch and go, Oh my god, how is he still playing like this after this many hours? So I think I've got like... How many hours do I have in this game now, actually? Let's check. Because uh, I don't launch it through Steam because I play modded, so I don't actually know. Where is Nuclear Throne? Do I not have it in my favourites? What the heck? Where is Nuclear Throne? There it is. I have... What the heck? I have 164 hours in this game. Since when? My lord, I didn't know it was anywhere near that many. <laughs> I thought it, I was going to say something along the lines of like 40. God damn, I, I know that that's like not even plausible considering the amount of episodes I have out there. But my episodes range from like 20 minutes to like 50. So I suppose it is kind of plausible. Well, I didn't get to see what that was. <laughs> okay, hopefully we get some more relevant ammo here. I'm going to go after this now. Oh, you're a minute. Gimme, gimme, gimme. No! Ammo! There's so much health about! I need ammo! Oh, what the? They're all mimics! Go away! Why are they all mimics? That's a weapon I've never used, the flamethrower. And there's two of them on this stage. God damn, what happened to that stage? It was like health everywhere. Let's go cheek pouches. Yeah, there was health everywhere, there was mimics. All sorts of stuff was going on there. Oh my lord! Just face me against the council of snipers, why don't you? Tempo gun, pump up volume, pump up the tempo. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Ow. Still, that's something I would love to see someone like do a community patch on in this game. Enemies that can shoot you with snipers from off screen or from behind bosses. It's bullshit, is what it is. <laughs> right, let's go with some cursed, uh, cursed crown stuff here. I haven't done that in a while. I'm feeling it. Maybe we'll unlock this character finally. I'm, I'm just going to cheat this character and unlock eventually. Because it has been too long. Right. Let's take the cursed crown. 
I like the Curse Crown mutes. They're cool. I'm going to go, like, really whole hog on them, though, and just, like, play super risky. Okay, well, I've got bur bonus ammo here. Okay, that did not... The bonus ammo one, because I don't know if you guys remember from before the patch came out, but there used to be um, a different version of how the how the uh, the bonus ammo and health work. Essentially, before, it was very, very different, actually. Uh, I need to be careful, because these explode, don't they? Uh, yeah, it was very, very different. It essentially, it allowed you to get, like, an overstock of health or an overstock of ammo. And while I 100% agreed the overstock of health was obscenely overpowered, the overstock of ammo I never found to be too overpowered. And the way that the uh, bonus ammo things work now is so piddly. Portal, uh, portals heal and restore ammo slows... Okay, slow 10 seconds after exiting the portal. Okay, that's fine. Doesn't seem like a ridiculous slow thus far. Just recognize when you've got the bonus ammo and when you don't. But yeah, you get like three seconds of infinite ammo. And while on some guns, that's definitely got more value than others, even still three seconds, you've got to have the right gun and sort of be in the right place to utilize it. I just don't really think it's that good. Can, can, calm down and die, please. And my god, our ammo consumption. So we've got nine ammo now. Okay, I picked up ammo straight away there. I think it's costing nine ammo a shot. That's obscene. Okay, bonus health is the one that's real good. That's just one free hit. It's like a holy mantle. I, I picked up the chest with the wrong bloody gun out. Doing all right. I damn well am doing all right. Thank you, game. I'm doing all right. I'm doing okay. I managed to kill little hunter on this run, so... Ooh, what the hell? The blink sword. Oh, I like it. Oh, it, it doesn't have a lot of damage, though. That makes it a kind of a no-go for me, I gotta admit. Oh, good. I forgot we got ammo from uh, leaving the portal. That's gonna help us a lot. Okay. Grab all the health as well. So much health. Ah! Wide slugger. Ooh! Pulse. I'll take pulse cannon, and I'll take wide slugger as well. <laughs> what? Ooh, what? Claw shot. <laughs> That's pretty cool. No, let's take wide slugger. Let's try that out. Oh, what's that? The tank cannon. Oh, okay, I see, I see. I see, I see. Nah, we'll stick with the wide slugger. Wide slugger seems fun. Look at that. <laughs> I think it's piercing as well. That's beautiful. Right. Let's go with confidence. We're not always at full health, but we can get there. Look at that, that's so cool. Shoot that up your arse and smoke it. That, dude, the wide slugger hit you. How, how are you gonna, how are you gonna tell me a story that the wide slugger didn't kill you? That's obscene. Wide slugger kills all things. Wide slugger is love. White Slugger is life. Man, I'm so dead. I need some new weaponry. Unfortunately, White Slugger has slightly let me down. Plasmite Cannon would be a good start. You need to go. Yeah, plus my cannon's so good. Get me the hell out of here. Okay, let's uh, let's also lower our maximum HP to get another mute here. I think we can handle it. Oh, 
Oh my god, that destroyed him. Holy shit. Okay, that, that went decently well. Let's take that on. Um, killing enemies kills all low HP enemies on screen. Take delayed double damage. That sounds horrible, but I said I'd commit. Oh shit, I'm so fucked. I completely forgot about this goober. Yeah, I'm so dead. Yep, there you go. Game over. I... He's such a pot. I say it every time. I do not understand how actual real human beings that have played a video game created this boss and was like, yes, he is perfectly fine. There's nothing about him that's okay. Literally everything about this boss is made of garbage. Like... I think everyone, everyone in the office's brain just took a day off. My god. Anyways, despite my rage. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Back into the nuclear throne again. And I'll see you guys in the next one.